This is USD CAD and today it's Monday, 2nd of uh, June 2014 and the time is uh, 16, 12 GMT. We are looking at the H4 time frame of the pair and uh, uh, I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a video case study for Forex ID Academy members. Uh, again, I'm going to use a very simple and very effective uh, trading system, trading strategy um, for which I have received a lot of emails uh, from you and is uh, part of this system is being presented uh, in one of my books and I'm going to use Bollinger Bands, Fractals, Alligator with the addition of Stochastics. Uh, you can use only Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Alligator and have amazing results but stochastics give you additional confirmations and additional confirmations never hurt in Forex. So um, you can use uh, this system on all ty types of market conditions, uh, even if a pair is trading or ranging or um, is in a, in a, in a consolidation uh, mood and uh, you want to catch a big uh, breakout. Um, it's it's it, uh, it's a nice system for all time frames. If you are a scalper, if you are a, a swing trader, or if you are a surfer, um, and you want to 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 uh, follow the accordion effect, um, you can enter short, uh, uh, follow a wave for a few candlesticks on the M15 time frame, and then. Uh, reverse your position and follow the opposite wave for a few candlesticks on the same time frame. This is what I mean when I say surfer. But in any case, you can use it uh, uh, with great results uh, if you stick with its rules. Uh, I showed it already on USDJPY, I'm going to show it on USD CAD and it doesn't make any difference if the price wants to go up or down. You just respect the rules of the system and follow the rules. Now, um, we are looking for long entries, for, for short entries, sorry, to sell on the upper Bollinger Band and for long entries to buy on the lower Bollinger Band. Okay, this is the, the basic rule. I'm going to, to use H1 time frame here and uh, it doesn't matter if you go uh, to H1, H4, daily or whatever. I, I suggest you use this system with M15 or higher time frames. So, on H1 time frame, uh, we could have caught up this nice upward move uh, uh, here on the lower Bolger band we saw a down fractal should we enter? No. What were we waiting for? We, wait, we were waiting for the leading alligator to be, to be curved upwards and that happened on the next candlestick and also one candlestick, one bullish candlestick to cross above and close preferably cross and, and close above the green line which is alligator's lips. That happened here. So we saw that it had a, a huge momentum so we could enter here. I'm inserting my shape and at the same time we had the confirmation from stochastics uh, which stochastics uh, were going straight upwards after this down fractal, this candlestick here, stochastics started going up. So you had stochastics saying enter long, buy. You had the down fractal of the lower Bolger band telling you buy. You had the leading alligator curved upwards telling you buy. And you had a bullish candlestick crossing s uh, very, very strongly above alligator's um, uh, lips telling you enter long now, buy now. So we entered here, we followed the move, we saw that uh, price was above alligator so we stay long, we stay long as long as price is above alligator. Uh, it made some uh, uh, downward moves here, we could have exited here 
after seeing this upper up fractal of the upper Bolger band that the leading alligator curved downwards would, would have exited here and re-enter as soon as we saw after this down fractal below the median Bolger band and below alligator's teeth the red line while the leading alligator was curved upwards and when we had a bullish candlestick crossing and closing above alligator's lips again. So we could have exited here and we could have re-entered here. I'm going to insert a shape respecting our system. Uh, here we had uh, a sign, uh, uh, a, a bearish candlestick on the upper Bollinger Band and then also a, an up fractal and stochastics gave us an early exit now signal. Okay, I insert a vertical line to show you why stochastics are very, very useful addition to this system. So we took this move, we went up here and we suddenly saw the price moving downwards and we saw stochastics crossing below 80 level line. We should be out here. So I'm inserting uh, a narrow at this point. Okay, you get my point uh, <laughs> because the system doesn't help me much. Anyway, we exit here and we observe the price. We see stochastics going and plunging below the 20 level line and then crossing above 20 level line at the same, sa telling us buy. We see a down fractal here, but we don't enter yet. We see stochastics continue going up, telling us buy we see the leading alligator being horizontal and ready to curve upwards. We don't enter yet. We want to see a clear curve upwards and one bullish candlestick crossing and closing above the green line alligator's lip. And that happens here. So we buy here and we enter here. And we take this trade and as long as leading alligator goes upward we don't pay attention to whatever happens here unless if stochastics start going down and cross below 80 level line if stochastics cross below 80 level line usually after we see a fractal and up fractal or something we exit we save our pips and we wait uh, possibly for an opposite move or we wait for a co the continuation of the move after a deep correction which may even reach uh, the lips of alligator. Okay, so this is it. I will present it again and again and thanks for watching and happy pips.